Dread it. Run from it. Destiny arrives all the same. And now it's here. Deep downfield for Wicks. Makes the catch! Touchdown, Virginia! Hello, everyone, and welcome to the second week of Who You Got. I'm Henry Palatroni, joined by Aiden Bowler. Last week, the Virginia football team suffered a 49-13 to loss at Tennessee. And this week, they make their return to Scott Stadium for the first time since the November 2022 tragedy as they host James Madison University on Saturday at noon. Aiden, there's something far more important than a football game going on this weekend. And Henry, you're exactly right. This is the first game back at Scott Stadium since the losses of Lavelle Davis Jr., Deshaun Perry, and Devin Chandler in November of 2022. So this community has gone through so much. This football team has gone through so much. It'd be nice to see a massive crowd at Scott Stadium for this home over there. As for the game itself, Virginia is hosting JMU, who they've not played in almost 40 years in football. The team last year went eight and three and recently defeated Bucknell 38 to three last week. Henry, what do you see the Cavaliers needing to do to get a win? Yeah, uh, tough opener last week, but kind of as expected, right? I'm super excited for them to be coming home, playing their first game in Scott Stadium since the tragedy. And I think there's a lot of things that can go differently when you're not playing an SEC opponent like Tennessee. Um, best thing about last week for me, not a lot of mistakes, zero turnovers and only two penalties. Hoping to see that continue, while also seeing offensive production ramp up. We had some run game success, gonna need the offensive line to step up, more run game success, and then we'll see what happens at quarterback this week. Aiden, you wanna talk about that? And speaking of quarterback, Tony Musket was sacked four times last week, which is not a great showing from the offensive line, but on that fourth sack, Musket went off the field with a shoulder injury and is now day-to-day -day and questionable for the game on Saturday. If he doesn't play, the freshman Anthony Calandria will step in and we'll be curious to see what he can do with this Cavalier offense. Either way, if it's Calandria or if it's Muscat quarterback, it's still gonna be a big test playing the Dukes. Henry, what's your prediction for the game? Yeah, look, we're not gonna give up 49 points to JMU. I see the Who's taking it 24-21. I think there's gonna be a ton of energy in Scott Stadium. I see the offense finding the end zone a couple times with the run attack. And I see the defense stepping up and forcing a couple turnovers, 24-21 Who's. Aiden, what are your thoughts on the game? Last week against Tennessee, in Tennessee's first five drives, they only scored seven points. This defense clearly showed that they can amount to something, and I think against JMU, they're going to impress a lot more. I have the Cavaliers winning this 24 to 14. The defense shows out at a packed crowd at Scott Stadium. I'm Henry Palatroni. I'm Aiden Bauer, WUVA.